In this video, I will show you my workflow in PyCharm on writing a very simple test from Jupyter Notebook using the data that I just created. The first thing I like to do is I like to turn my code into a function with very, very long names. This is just a personal preference, so you don't have to follow this. And after I have a function, I will make a test file. The, all my test files usually sit in a test folder and I like to use test underscore and then my function name and maybe some other things that indicates what this test is trying to do. Once I have a test function, I want to make two data sets. One is my expected data, what my expected output should be, and the other, my actual output. The expected output I got from my Jupyter Notebook. This is from pandas uh, dot to dict and you can it, it gives you a dictionary in Jupyter Notebook and you can copy paste it and put it in here and my actual output will be using the function that I just defined where does my data of uh, input of this function come from well it comes from the file initially so let's just use that file as well but at this point I realized I uh, there's one thing about testing pandas data frame is you might want to sort your data frame in your functions because the observe frame equal function will test all the index and the order of it as well. So it's very strict. If I don't uh, sort my data and like make sure that the index is correct, sometimes it gives me weird stuff. So I, at least initially, I like to lock it down. Once I lock it down, you can, I have my data in, I have my data out, and I know what my expected output is. It's not finished yet. The first thing I want to do here is to test that my assertion fails. There are numerous times that I have written a test that does not fail, never fails, which means it, it does, it's not a test. It's uh, for whatever reason, I forgot to put in an assertion or the assertion format was wrong, something like that. So I will go back and edit my expected data, change it to something I know is wrong, and run it. Once I run it, you can see that PyTest told me that, okay, you have an assertion error. That's good. And it even tells me from pandas that say, hey, this is where the data is wrong. So this is good. I have a test that fails. Now I can go back and modify my data to make the test pass. And now you have, my fir you have the first test. What happens after the first test? Committed. Once you commit it, it's in the code repository. Everybody who's going to use this code can run their test and you have documented your example.